Alrighty guys, it's time to do this. Oh. Well We'll just do it we'll do this event later. Uh, for now though, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, here they come. So, darkness. Uh you can't have any aircraft fighters, so we don't really care about that. Alright, we got we're gonna see what we're made of. Alright, boys. Alright, unfortunately, we need to deal with that. I don't think we cleared it. We need. I think we needed to have uh, actually destroyed Yuzana instead of just uh, what is it? Just simply repelled the attack. I'm not too sure if we captured Parkun or not. And I don't think we did. If uh, if Rommel hadn't taken a, hadn't prioritized Ad uh, Retia Adolf as his main target, I feel like we could have gotten away with that. We could have actually destroyed them. Alright, right, they're all down. Minimal losses. Okay, we did repel their attack. It's just that I don't know whether or not we actually captured Parapuna herself. I honestly think that we should have, uh, we needed to have um, destroyed her fleet in order to have captured her. That's honestly what I feel. We'll know for sure, though. Um, shooter to chief. Yes, I know. Sometimes the uh, the in-game narrator narrator can get a little bit. Annoying. Really, all I need is to. Eh, it doesn't matter. I could include Hoga Koei. It doesn't matter. See ya! Bit sloppy, but you know, what do we gotta do to get the job done? Andromeda is a really good uh, source for uh, technology, so we'll, we'll put a tech lab there. Okay. Alright, we'll be right back. We're gonna do this event. And as you guys can see, as a, I believe that's the last one. If it's not, it'll be 
uh, we'll, we'll still need to do more events for Mau Mau. But as you guys can see, Mau Mau's command points has been increased to 30. Keep in mind though, Mau Mau only has a total of 90 CP. What you can do is you can remove some one of her ships that she comes with and put in a uh, 45 CP destroyer, um, like one of the cannon destroyers or whatever, or a laser destroyer to make it faster and have more laser. But it's normally, you don't really need to change her that much. Nah, I keep forgetting, uh, who is it? Alimon only has, uh, his own operating off cannons for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so as soon as you uh, capture a territory next to Espana, then this uh, this event comes up. You basically need to choose uh, who you want to uh, assist. They'll never attack you, it's, always, it's just a civil war, they'll never attack you, but they'll become an invadable country. If you choose to assist Felipe, then uh, I believe Felipe will become your commander after you capture Spain, or you can have the option to... Uh, um, recruit him. If you assist Rosa, then Rosa will be recruitable after you uh, capture Spain. Um, if you ignore them, then I don't think you can invade them, and they'll just be neutral for the for the rest of the game. And basically, they'll deny you access to uh, to the United States or America through the Pacific Theater or from the Atlantic. So you don't want to ignore them because that that basically cuts off your reinforcement path and basically has, makes you go all the way around the goddamn world instead of going straight through Spain. So don't ignore them. That's kind of bad. Um, my personal recommendation is to go assist Rosa because not only do you get an H team for that because I'm a guy but also uh, both of the both Felipe and Rosa have a skill that lets them deal 10% additional damage towards the opposite gender so for example Felipe has a uh, lady attack where he can deal 10% uh, damage against lady commanders whereas Rosa has a th plus 10% attack or a man killer attack where she deals 10% attack versus male commanders so more often than not you'll run across uh, male commanders as opposed to female commanders so so, um, Rosa would be the logical choice. Then again, you can choose whoever you want. They both start with the- they, they're basically identical, it's just the only things that are different is that Rosa is a girl, so you can fuck her, basically. And, um, who is it? They- their passive abilities are, you know, basically flip-flopped. We'll go with Rosa. Now we're getting fucking triple invaded by Ro uh, by, uh... Eris Empire again. Where's Panda? I think that should do it. The Holy Land. This is basically the event where they you can you are now basically set on true route. So I unfortunately I don't think we could, were able to capture Parapuna. Now that I think about it, it was probably for the better because it's not like we could have really done anything anyway with, with our available resources. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to go without Parapuna. It would be nice to have shown her, shown you guys what she's able to do and what kind of commander she is. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. <clears throat> so we'll just keep soldiering on then. 
<laughs> Sucks for them because we're fighting in darkness and they decided to send aircraft carriers against us. <laughs> Alright, flawless battle. Ah, he's got la anti lasers. 500, 300. Uh, I'm trying to do the math in my head. 526, uh, he goes down to 284. We should be able to kill him. See ya. He was able to deal just barely over the amount of uh, HP that Togo Siyoshi had. Alright, Rebel Army, all the way in fucking Chongqing. Uh, God damn it. We're gonna have some, some people to deal with that. It's not gonna be those guys. Um. Mm, we'll send Klingon on. on. Those attack negative modifiers just piss me the fuck off. Like, honestly. Because we can. <laughs> that should do the trick, what?
ボンを表示しますはいセーブしちゃいますね